Louis the Fourteenth had been at war with England and Scotland for three years. Louis knew that there was massive discontent in Scotland, and that Scotland was only really at war with France because England was. There were many Scots that were unhappy with the rumblings of a possible union between the two nations of England and Scotland, a venture that the Scots knew would always have Scotland playing second fiddle to the larger and louder England. Also, King William of Orange had just died in 1702. He and his wife Mary had had no children, so Mary's sister, Anne, became queen. But who was going to take the throne next was on the forefront of everyone's minds. The English wanted to go with the Protestant Hanoverian line that was descended from the daughter of James I, Elizabeth Stuart, Her descendants all spoke German. The Scots were divided between supporting the Hanoverian line and supporting the Queen's half-brother, James Francis Edward Stuart. They called themselves Jacobites, which came from the Latin Jacobus, meaning James. Both sides of the Scots were afraid that if a union of the two countries happened, that the Church of Scotland would be forced to merge with the Church of England. All this was a perfect storm to be manipulated to the advantage of France. And so Louis XIV from the Palace of Versailles devised a plan to send a spy to Scotland to see if he could use this discontent to start a rebellion. This rebellion would force troops that were being used against the French on the continent to be sent to Scotland, and then France would have an advantage. And so, an Irishman by the name of Nathaniel Hook was sent to Scotland by Louis XIV, specifically to New Slane's castle, to set up as a base to gain intelligence. On June 17, 1705, Louis wrote Hook, saying, It appears from all the news we have received from England and Scotland that distrust and hatred is increasing between the two nations. The English take every opportunity to subdue Scotland, whereas the Scots seek to preserve their independence and are irritated by the behavior of the English. In many places, The Scots appear to be ready to take up arms to keep their freedom. His Majesty supports the interests of James Francis Edward Stuart, and given the often renewed old alliance between France and Scotland, a nation forever esteemed by His Majesty, it should be rescued from succumbing to the violence of her ancient enemy. It is for this reason that the King wishes to know what the true state of affairs are, has resolved to send Colonel Cook in secret to Scotland. In 1707, the Acts of Union were indeed passed, and Scotland and England were united into one kingdom by the name of Great Britain. There were many in Scotland that were outraged and horrified when this happened. Jacobite sympathizers became more vocal about mobilizing men to try and put James Francis Edward Stuart on the throne. Nathaniel Hook would take several trips to Scotland and New Slane's castle. The intelligence that Hook learned while at the castle and while he was at Scotland was all taken back to Louis XIV and his report was read aloud to him at the Palace of Versailles. This information prompted Louis to authorize an invasion into Scotland. In 1708, a fleet of five men-of-war, two more fitted as troop carriers, together with 14 frigates and seven more to follow later, left Dunkirk in France with 5,100 soldiers 10,000 muskets, 1,000 pistols, and James Francis Edward Stuart, the man who is now trying to claim the thrones of England, 
Scotland, and Ireland all set sail to invade Scotland. The French fleet was hit with horrible weather and ultimately chased away by 50 ships from the newly formed British Navy. Talks were made about landing James Francis Edward Stewart at New Slane's castle, but ultimately the entire invasion was abandoned. 